Jay's with me. She's got her cup of coffee. She's good to go. At least I'd say she's good to go. So, I've been uh, scouting this area a lot. We're about 300 yards from the river on this top of this ridge. And at the bottom of this ridge is a pine thicket. I think the birds have been roosting in these pines. Or they could be roosted right on top of us right now. Or there's a ridge over. They could be roosting. And they're just traveling back and forth across these ridges. I got lots of pictures of them strutting right here. So hopefully they'll cooperate and keep up their pattern. And uh, I'll be able to stick one with an arrow this morning. So we're going to get Saturday and wait for sunrise and see if we can hear anything. I probably won't do much calling today because it's opening day. I don't want to educate them too much. So let's see what happens. All right, it's just before daylight, and we just heard our first gobble of the season. He's up river from us, probably a few hundred yards, and he may be even across the river. But we heard a gobble, so great start to the season. Now let's see. If there's one on our side of the river and a little bit. Well, it's about 10 o'clock. We just got back to the house. Uh, it's opening morning. Outside of being able to harvest a bird, you can't ask for a better hunt than that. We had was, quite a show. It was pretty impressive. I mean, that dude strutted for about an hour. An hour, at least. Had the five hens come in, and he... It was amazing. Beautiful. But he stayed... Just on the edge of the hill, never would come up on that little plateau top of that ridge. And he started just all on the edge. Never got closer than 47 yards. And even then, had some brush in front of him. So, with, with my bow in there, I, I wasn't going to chance that. Um, I've shot my bow at 50 yards, but I wasn't comfortable with the shot. So, I wasn't going to take it and uh, risk just, you know, injuring the bird and not being able to harvest him. Because, like I said, it's open in the morning. Um, we heard another turkey gobble at least 25, 30 times upriver. Maybe even across the river. The one we saw, never heard. I never heard him gobble that if he was so close. close. Yeah. But they had to have been roosting right there on that river on those pines that I thought they were. So if they keep that same pattern and he gives us a little bit closer shot, hopefully we'll uh, have us a bird on film here pretty soon. But we're going to get some coffee in us, some breakfast sit by the fire and uh, just enjoy our Saturday morning together so that was our opening morning we'll be back in the woods probably another day or so we've got a, a dinner tonight um, a sportsman's dinner at the Refuge Baptist Church here in Habersham so we'll probably be able to get out this afternoon but uh, again guys 
as always, thank you for taking the time to watch our videos. Uh, check out some of our other videos we have. Stay tuned, and thanks for watching George Outdoorsman. It's who we are. Thank you.